Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, we are going to see how to use Oddboard tool in Photopea. So to select Oddboard tool, you can press on the Move tool and you can see the Oddboard tool option over here and you can click on it and select the Oddboard tool or else you can go to search and search for Oddboard tool and you will get this option tools Oddboard tool and you can click on it to select the Oddboard tool. So the Oddboard tool is used to create Oddboards and you can see the only one option over here for the Oddboard tool background color. You can select white, black, transparent and custom colors. So the Oddboard tool is used to do create Oddboards. So let's see. So you need to select the Oddboard tool and create Oddboard like this. So you can see I randomly created the artboard with random width and height. If you need to adjust the width and height, you can click on any of the boxes, white boxes like this, white squares. And you can move it and you can see the width and height over there. Right now the width is 1266809. So if you reduce it, you can see the width and height are reducing. So likewise, you can adjust width and height. So let's see, I'm gonna increase the height to 1000. And also width to 1000. So you can see, we can, this way we can adjust our width and height or you can go to image and image size and you can adjust the hotboard size from here. So I'm gonna give the width to 1200 and click OK. You can see now the artboard size is changed to 1200 by 1000. This is the another way we can change our artboard size. Instead of doing this, you can also directly choose artboard option from the document setup. Let me show. Go to File and Create New, and you can see the artboard option. You can check on it. And you can directly change your width and height over here and click on create. You can see it is created as artboard. So next one is you can create multiple artboards using this artboard tool. So you can see after selecting the artboard tool, you will get this plus 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 on four sides of this artboard. You can click the plus and you can see another artboard is created on the right hand side. Now you can also create another artboard from here, 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 here. So I just created six artboards and this artboard option is used to create PDF. So the first artboard one is made as a page one in PDF. Artboard two is page two, three, four, five, six. Uh, likewise, these are the pages in PDF. Select the artboard one from here and type in your text. I'm going to type in something and I'm going to type in on the artboard too. I just type in different text in each artboard. So to export it as a PDF, you need to go to file, export as and select PDF. And you can see, please do subscribe my channel. So since this font is not working on the PDF, you need to rasterize all or vectorize text. So click on vectorize text and you can see all the text over here. So you can see, please do subscribe my channel. So, so this is how we can use Oddboard to uh, convert your odds into PDF. So you can use it for your uh, PowerPoint presentation or for any document purpose. You can use this Oddboard tool. So that's it. So then you can click on save to save to your computer. So that's it. This is how we can use Oddboard tool in Photopea. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more future tutorials. Also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when I upload a video. Thanks for watching and bye.